Hey, before we start this video, I would like to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of this video, my boys over at Manscaped. Manscaped. Thank you, Griffey. They sent me their performance package 4.0. Now inside the Performance Package 4.0, we got the Lawnmower 4.0 looking mad fancy with this waterproof trimmer, advanced skin safe technology so you don't nick your gonads. And it also has this cool wireless charger that gives you up to 90 minutes of power and has this little like, like LED light. For those of you who travel, we also got the travel lock feature. Just click this button three times. And it won't turn on when you push the button. And to disengage it, just press it three times again. Hey. And also included in this, we have the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Simply add it after you shower to repel smell to keep your balls nice and well. And after that, we also have the Crop Reviver Spray with its cooling aloe vera to quickly freshen the area when need be. Like, I personally have been using these things and I look great. I mean, just pee. Manscaped. Thank you, Griffey. And don't think I just care about your meat because we also have the Weed Whacker Wireless Nose Hair Trimmer with its 360 blades and same skin safe technology as the lawnmower so you know you don't nick your nose hairs. For a limited time you can get all of this plus two free gifts. We got the Shed Travel Bag which honestly um, I had all of this stuff in it because I opened the package and I don't think I was supposed to open the package before showing it to the camera. So not only do you get the travel bag but you also get the anti-chafing boxer briefs by Manscaped as well. Simply go to manscaped.com and use promo code YOYO for 20% off and free international shipping. Thank you again for Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Uh, I'm not trying to go to work today. It's just six hours, yo yo. That's two hours three times. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Do you have this in the back? Uh no, we actually just cleared the back. Go check for me. Don't come in my line, don't come in my line, don't come in my line, don't come in my line. Hey, yo yo, so Amy just called in sick. I'm uh I'ma need you to work her register, but I'm working this register. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? How may I help you today? Finally. Oh, I'm quitting. Oh, no, 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 I'm quitting. I'm quitting. No, no, I'm quitting. Do you have this in the back? So I'm just going to talk about the stuff that used to annoy me when I was working a 9 to 5. You know, shoplifters, Karen, young boy fans, rowdy kids, clumsy people, shoplifters. Ah! Like, I don't get it. Who goes into an establishment just to be obnoxious? Like, nothing could get me to do that. Zoe Kravitz herself could tell me to shoplift, but I just have too much respect for retail workers to do so. Ah! It doesn't even have to be obnoxious people for real, because time? Fuck that nigga. Why does my break go by so fast, but when I'm on the clock, it feels like I am in the hyperbolic time chamber. Like I'm here to bag groceries, not unlock Super Saiyan 2, man. I used to, man, I used to work for three hours without looking at the clock in hopes of seven hours to go by just to check the time and see that it's only been 15 minutes. But bro. if it isn't the clock's hands moving slower than dead sheets, it's the managers, bro. Oh. Holy, you either have a cool manager or a manager that yells at you for being late. Like there's no in between. Like cops can literally get caught on video putting five in someone's back. What I mean, what I mean? he's one shot, he's one shot, he's one shot, rush, rush, and get paid leave. But let me show up five minutes late and they tell me to leave, like fine. I didn't want to work here in the first place. Saying I don't fit in with your company's morals. Like how would you fit these and you cap to get me to take the job in the first place? Managers be catfishing niggas into these jobs like don't try to gas up this indentured servant ass position like you don't want 40 hours of my time no breaks in 7 15 an hour like this contract really looking like the three foots compromise for real like put your hand down i'm not your mans if you keep talking you will get chris rock because i got hands knock your head off your body so high that even alice gonna wonder where it lands 20k a year and 40 hours a week is crazy and then they try to gas up the work environment too okay before we start the hiring process i'd like to let you know some things about us here first our staff is very hard working and honest so you said you want a milkshake all right uh shit. well our ice cream machine is actually broken right now 
and we're also not taking card payment. We prioritize your needs as a valued employee. Hey, can I take my lunch break? No. It's a little fast paced, but still fair and reasonable. Yo, yo! Why is there no chicken in the fryer? Your bathroom has been dirty for hours and I need this trash taken out now. What have you been doing this whole time? I just clocked in. And above all, we respect your schedule. Hey, can I have next Saturday? No. Coworkers can get it too, especially the person who steals food. Like, bro, we both worked the same 40 hours. Like, I see you buying LED lights for your Ultima. You really spending food money just to make your car look like it has 64 gigabytes of RAM. And then there's the old coworkers who for some reason have more work ethic than everyone in the building. Like, bro, I mean, sir, you're three business days away from being sent to God's recently deleted and you're over here doing more work than me you're 80 trying to get promoted to corporate you're gonna be in a box before you get your box off is no cap but the worst co-worker of them all is the regular employee who acts like he's a manager like this establishment is paying you 715 to work 40 hours and to suck them off like you're a trooper for real like nothing could make me work like that ah! I hit from the back, make a nigga disappear like a snap. Huh, chat, huh, that's cause I keep me a Mac. And to me, this a cakewalk, and it be so hard and I get chased off. I'ma pull up and break down the bat like Batman to a nigga who Jay walks. T up, spend too much time on my feet up. I need more racks on my visa. This is really just a lead up. Tell me thinking he can keep up. I do not fuck with these niggas like Freeza. Shorty thinking I'm a keeper. I got a bad bitch, hot and ready like pizza. I can't come for shit, diva. Uh.